welcome to my studio subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos today we'll learn how to implement firebase phone auth using flutter so i've already created a project and i've added two text fields and two buttons one to send otp another one to verify the otp so to start first we have to go to our firebase console and create a flutter project Firebase project for a photo. This thing. So let's name it Firebase Phone Auth. So this will take a few seconds, and by the time this finishes, we can go. We can import the Firebase Auth plugin to our project. So just copy this thing and paste it in the YAML file. So our project is ready. Now we can link our Flutter project with a Firebase project. So click on Android. Now to get your Android package name, the easiest way is to go to Android one and go to your app level build creator file and copy your application id which is nothing but your package name now you'll also need your sh1 key now you can register your app This is done. So now you have to download this file and copy it to your Android project in the app level directory. And you have to just follow the steps that they'll tell. So you have to go to your project level Gradle file and copy this line in the dependencies part. This is our project level this part and here you just have to paste this line the google thing it's already there so we don't have to change that now i have to go to a app level gradle file and copy this line you can just paste it at the end of the file that's it i think that's it yeah you don't need to change anything else so after this is done now you have to enable your phone auth for that go to your develop part click on authentication go to sign in method and enable this one after this is enabled so basically this is all you have to do from the firebase console part all other stuff needs to be implemented in your flutter project now we'll do the flutter part so so the first thing that we have to do is get a firebase auth instance auth instance and also new one more variable is verification ID which is needed in the case when auto retrieval doesn't work and you have to manually verify the OTP. Now we have to basically write two methods one is to send an OTP, send a request to the Firebase server to send an OTP, and the another one is to manually verify the OTP in case the auto retrieval doesn't work. So I've already written those two methods, I'll explain both of them. So verify phone this method is used to send an otp so what we basically do is we call this function it needs six parameters so the first one is the phone number then the second parameter is code auto retrieval timeout so in case we don't get the otp in time and our phone is not able to auto retrieve the otp this function is called which basically assigns the verification id to a local variable so that we can use it for manual verification of the otp 
now th this one is code sent this is sms code sent this function what act what it does is uh, whenever the otp is sent uh, whenever there is a request is successfully sent for the OTP to be sent to your phone, this function is called. Then this is the main function, the verified success. So in case the OTP is re received and it's it is auto retrieved and it's successfully verified, this function is called where we get the credential. Using those credentials, we can sign in into the Firebase account, into the Google account, and we can get the user's details. Using this user details we can get his phone number and everything and we can save it to shared preference and we can take the user to the next page and we can call the user authorized function which is nothing but take the user to the next page now in case there's some error or an issue verification field is called where we can log the error do something and take care of it so different type of error can occur when a person is trying to log in into the fibers account too many times or so those kind of it. there are a lot of issues which can happen now in case when the timeout occurs we are not able to auto retrieve the OTP and we have to manually write the OTP and we have to call another function which is called the verify OTP we are using the verification ID we got from SMS code sent or the auto retrieve as well as the OTP that we have manually entered we try to get the auth credentials Using these auth credentials, we sign into the Firebase account and if we get the Firebase user. Now we have to check if this Firebase user is null or not. If it's not null, it means the OTP was the right one. And now we can take the user to the next page, which means he's basically authorized. Now we'll try to execute this one. So these are the two functions that we know. Send OTP. And verify OTP which basically calls those two methods I have my device running up and let's do this this and I'll enter my number we'll just run it once more yeah So let's click on send OTP. And we did get the OTP. And as you can see, it says can go to the next page. Thank you for watching. Please do share what would you like us to cover next and how we can improve. Like, comment, and do subscribe.